somebody just gave me a link to um, a book that I did a little bit of a search on and um, Atlas Shrugged looks like a really good movie um, watch the the trailer and it, it it is all based on this greed mentality now the problem the funny part and this confirms what I've been saying all along you're guilty of offering advice but you can't follow it that's our insanity is we all have this amazing advice to give everybody else but you yourself can't follow it and uh, the the creators of uh, or the author started like this business it is called the um, I don't know if it was the author that created, but it's the Ayn Rand Institute. They started an institution. Why? What was the basis of that institution? Greed! They had to earn a lot of money and get really, really friggin' rich off selling a lot of information. <laughs> it's all greed-based. You know, they, they found the information that, okay, it's all about greed so we need to teach this message we got new message so we can be greedy about teaching this message now if they were serious if they were serious about changing global problems then that movie would have been uh, available free to watch or it would have been they would have created whatever kind of marketing they needed they could have gotten advertisement um, posting it on the internet they could have earned money just not as much money. Probably they would have earned more money if they weren't so friggin' greedy. Um, but yeah, if you if you give things away and you find a way to earn a living off of doing things free, then you create a, a completely different reality. But the corporate structure doesn't know how to wrap its brain around that. But um, for example, if this website this institute was giving away their courses and they structured it in a way they earned money they would actually more than triple the amount of money that they would make but they don't want to do that they want they're they're very limited thinking they're very greed based and greed doesn't get you what you want it, it limits you of what you can attract. But if you actually did things the right way, you would attract a hell of a lot more. And why? Because it's available for everybody to watch. Who needs to watch this movie? People that can't afford it. <laughs> people, people, wealthy people are not motivated to, to change. It's the ones at the bottom. So this type of information needs to be available free. Putting out a movie like that, great stuff. I, I looked at uh, some interviews. Apparently, um, this book is second popular from the Bible. And Angelina Jolene was going to do a movie in it. So this really sick girl that's working for the UN says that book changed her life. <laughs> There's an example. What is Angelina Jolene doing? She's adopting a whole pile of kids, taking kids away from family. She has more than enough money that she could, uh, the, the amount of money that she's spending on those adopted kids, I mean the type of lifestyle, if she only gave 1% of what she's using to raise those kids and actually gave that money to the parents so the parents can raise their kids, then the kids can stay with their parents. But that's not what Angelino Jolene is all about. She's busy looking like a hero by taking kids away and, and a psychopathic society thinks she is a hero. But she's not. She's, she's destroying families by taking kids away. She could use her money to actually help family out because it's in children's best interest to stay with parents. But that's not what psychopaths are all about. They're about taking kids away. Sort of like what the Christians did to Native Americans. They took all of their kids away. Um, and Angelina is definitely involved with the UN. And what is the UN doing? <laughs> Nothing good. Um, there was a lot of names of actors that for years wanted to produce this movie and they could never put it together. So now I guess they put it together so it will be available and somebody will make it so we can view it free. But that wasn't the structure of um, 
the business that's bringing you that information. They never seen of giving you this information free. They want you to pay for it. And now with the economic system crashing, who the hell's going to afford to pay for your courses? You know, and I ended up uh, phoning the company, the institute, to ask them a little bit more about what they're doing. I was very friendly. Um, I kind of walk on eggshells when I'm kind of asking questions because I know it is very insulting. So um, I was asking her, why is it that uh, she's doing things that you're teaching are wrong? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, and it's like, well, I tried to explain what she was doing. And she goes, that's not what it is. That's not what we're doing. This is a non-conversation. And it's like, oh, okay, so the only types of conversation we can have is if I'm in agreement, if I'm praising you. and uh, But if I'm disagreeing with what you're teaching and I'm pleasant and, and have a calm voice, then all of a sudden that's a non-conversation. That's exactly what this CEO psychopaths talk like. So just in how you communicate with these people, you can tell they're psychopaths, you know, that love to tell the world, hey, the world, you should act like this, but they can't do it themselves, which means <laughs> it's a non, they're actually, if you actually can see what it is they're doing because people are mirroring them, um, if you come across as though this is really good information, you watch a movie that's going to show you how these psychopaths are created and what they do and their motivation. I haven't seen the movie, but I can guess that that's what it's going to be like. Um, so that's going to, now that we're starting to see these bankers and everything falling apart, we're kind of relating to, yeah, that's the problem is exactly how it's described. So now, because you're in alignment with it, you're going to be attracted to the Institute. You're going to be, you know, attracted to who had these words to share. And that is where the danger comes in it, because it's like, this is what you need to do. Whatever lessons, whatever they're teaching is not going to be in alignment with the movie that they're trying to show you what's wrong with society they are actually in perfect alignment with everything that's wrong <laughs> and somehow expect a change. So what that ends up doing, because there's so many things wrong on the planet, there's a whole pile of people need money, so there's a whole pile of people that are going to say, I got the answer, and they're going to try and make a lot of money. So motiv the industry of motivational speaking is going to go way, way down. Um, kind of see that that's where my direction would be in because that's what I love doing but um, I can't see that that's an easy career to get into because on a subconscious level nobody's trusting anybody anymore and um, especially you wouldn't trust anybody that doesn't have a large bank account the only people that we will listen to would be the rich wealthy greedy people why because we think that they're smart they're smart by the level of how, how big their bank accounts are so you'll never ever ever find out truth if you're going to find out truth from uh, you know a wealthy psychopath that thinks they know the truth um so be very careful of that movie sounds like a really good movie but the creators are still acting exactly the same as this, this business girl with the railroad ties, which is another really weird thing is this is a book all about railroad ties and, and you know, greed based on the, the uh, railroad ties for some reason. And my grandfather in the last depression owned and, and was producing railroad ties. <laughs> um, but he was an alcoholic. Um, and that's something that I noticed from both of my grandfathers. They were both alcoholics. There was a cause that had them having this addiction, and they weren't very happy people. Um, but as you can see how the corporate structure is, these people, my grand, both sides of uh, my family, my grandfather, they were both considered one of the, uh, the wealthier types because they owned businesses. My one grandfather owned a butcher shop, and while there was zero food, I mean, food was rationed, they had all the food in the world. 
and they actually were able to profit a lot more because they were selling food on the black market thinking that they were heroes but they were actually greedy bastards which is the cause of their alcoholism because subconsciously they weren't in alignment with what was right and but they had to fit within society they had to still feed their kids they, this structure that we got going on right now has been in play for a long time we're just at the end of the game um, but you know a hundred years ago you were just you know five minutes into the game of Monopoly you know right now we're at the place where only one person owns Boardwalk and Park Place and everybody else has gone bankrupt that's the stage of the game we're at right now but a hundred years ago you were just starting the game you didn't even see it but some people would have seen it which is why you wrote these books there's a lot of people that uh, you know in the um, a brave new world was another book that was written in the early 1900s about what our future is going to be like and how they're able to predict the future is because they see patterns there's patterns within patterns I see patterns I don't see anybody I haven't met anybody else that sees patterns like I see them how I view my world is completely different than anybody else um, and they're really wild patterns that you, they're behavior patterns that I see and behavior beliefs that I see in other people they just like like a neon sign to me and yet nobody else can see it I could be in a room and watching them and it's like ah, you can't see that that's so freaking obvious um, and generally how it comes out is somebody will do a lot of bitching and complaining and as you're bitching and complaining you're actually telling me your pattern you're actually telling me what the problem is and you're actually telling me what the solution is all through somebody else's complaints so you know if, you, if anybody wants to sit around and complain I will know what your answer is which means I will tell you what your answer is and because I won't want to sit there and both watch you in pain and sit there and bitch for the rest of your life I just don't like bitchy people um, so if you do come with a complaint I'll tell you what your answer is and it won't be my answer it'll be what I see you telling me is your answer and but that I have found is the most insulting thing is when somebody tells you the truth we are still not ready to handle the truth because the truth is you're wrong <laughs> we're all wrong and nobody wants to hear you wrong and just when you think that you know if you find out something's you know for me it was like okay kind of found out the medical system is a little wrong but I thought all other systems were right then I found out that the justice system was all wrong and thought everything else was you know the government everybody else just didn't know about it then I found out that it's the governments that are doing it and, and, and you know then I found out it's these big CEOs not government so it's like there's bubbles within bubbles within bubbles and as soon as you end up finding out a truth about one thing the truth you find out about that one thing is not so much even the truth but it's the truth in that one small aspect of it but if you get more information you'll find out that even that truth isn't so truthful um, but again it's uh, the first major lie is your health your health will guide you down the right path if you are living in you know perfectly emotionally and physically healthy everybody is happy then you know you're on your right path um, but I mean even this person died I don't even know how old she was but she couldn't see that pattern of health if she would have seen this pattern of health she would have lived a hell of a lot longer um, and and that is a hard pill to swallow that is so freaking irritating when you tell somebody hey the human body isn't meant to die um, it's it regenerates itself that's what the human body is it, it time it, space we don't know the bigger picture yet but think about this if science can cure every illness by dealing with causes and has been proven to cure every friggin health issue for more than 30 years based on curing the cause you cure the illness all accidents are preventable now we're starting to see natural disasters are not so natural after all so what would kill you why are we dying so young 
what causes cancer? What causes our, our illnesses? What causes an accident? What causes a natural disaster? And what happens to a human if all of that wasn't there? We'd live a hell of a lot longer. As it turns out, our sinning is what's killing us. And we think that we are, uncon you know, we're sinners. No, you are programmed to sin. You just need to be programmed not to sin. And then you'll be healthy. You'll be healed. But that's a process that I don't see anybody teaching yet. Peace out.